Alright folks, welcome to another Custom Universe episode by Joe Smoke Gaming. Today is going to be WCW. Starting off, the United States Championship is on the line. New champion will be crowned here as the title was vacated. We have Eddie Guerrero going one-on-one -on -one against Christian. What a way to kick off the night. Let's get right to it, folks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WCW United States Championship. Making his way to the ring from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. His opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Christian. Sometimes controversial, always exciting. It and there's that championship title they'll be fighting for. There's the bell, and let's see what Eddie Guerrero can do in this one. Finally, we will have a home for that vacant championship title after this match. Two superstars going head-to-head. -head. I love it. Regardless of whether we're north or south of the border, WWE fans like these in Montreal are diehard, devoted, and devastatingly loud. Kane, what's Christian thinking about as the match gets underway? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but his level of disrespect for those around him seems to have gotten even worse in recent weeks. I don't care if it's tag team action or singles competition like this match here. Christian has been to the top of both mountains and has proved to be one of the industry's all-time best. Listen, I'm not condoning his action, but in reality, what does respect really get you in the end anyway? Christian brings so much experience into the ring with him tonight. He's been a mainstay here for well over a decade. And over that time, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the absolute greatest. I'm talking Undertaker, Kane, and The Rock levels of greatness. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. And that'll give you a negative attitude. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Well, I've never seen him do that before. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Can you talk about Christian's longevity, which is amazing, but for me, it's so astonishing to see a superstar get better with each passing year. It's like there's no plateau for him. He just keeps getting better. Just look at his World Heavyweight Championship victory, for example. That came more than a dozen years after Christian made his debut. Yeah, that is unreal, Cole. I guess you could say Christian is like a fine wine. He just keeps getting better with age. But whenever he finally does decide to hang him up, you can bet there'll be a spot waiting for him in the WWE Hall of Fame. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Can he end it quickly? With the referee. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Chris 
Edge and finds a way out. He's taking some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Well, if he can't bounce back from this, then maybe he's not as tough as I thought. Christian makes the cover. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Yeah, this guy's strong. This guy's tough. And he gets out of the way. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. Here's the cover. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right. He kicked out with ease. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Oh, oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I don't like his entire face. Look out below. Look out. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. folks your winner and your new United States champion is Eddie Guerrero here's your winner and the new WCW United States champion Eddie Guerrero impressive showing there and route to the win these guys all right y'all we had to redo this match because it did not record uh, but for those of you that may want to know the Ascension won the Tag Team Championship in the part that I thought was recording and it didn't. So let's see if this happens again here, folks. Um, again, if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I'm doing things a little bit different with my channel. Uh, not doing live streams for a while. Well, partly because I can't. But I'm realizing that I'm doing better recording videos and putting them up versus if I'm doing them live uh, my subscriber count has been going up uh, right now I'm at 498 as of right now uh, so hey I mean I can't complain I think at 500 I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one of my P PS4 games uh, probably Destiny because that's the one I don't play at all uh, I played that game once for like two or three minutes and couldn't get into it, didn't like it, so it's been sitting in the case ever since. But people have been trying to try to get me to, to go and try it again, but I don't know, it's just not my thing for right now. Uh, plus, I have to re download it again and onto my PS4. I don't want to go through all that. So, but here we are, folks. WCW Tag Team Championships are on the line. The Dudleys versus the Ascension. Hope you all enjoy. Not the first time we've 
seen this move tonight. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. Here we go. Town right now. Bubba Ray Dudley with the offense. Unleashing it for the second time now. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Clearly on a mission here. Tim, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. This is gathering attention in a hurry. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Devon Dudley makes the tag. Devon Dudley with nice contact there. Oh, right between the eyes. King, you're right about Connor's confidence, but he's got to be careful with that. We've seen it get him in trouble on a few occasions. We got a tag. Connor on the offensive. He wasted too much time on that one. He's inflicting some serious pain here. the cover. One, For me, there are a few sights better than seeing all those legends attack the Ascension on Raw a while back. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. You don't see that move every day. long-term injuries for sure. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. The switch here to Victor. All right, folks, the winners of this match, part two, is the Ascension. They are your new tag team champions. folks singles action is coming up next daniel bryan versus chad gable oh man i can't wait to see these two go at it
The following contest is scheduled for football, making his way to the ring from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. And his opponent, representing American Alpha from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 200 pounds, Chad Gable. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Everybody's optimistic at this point in the match, but one move and that could all change. Both these superstars are gonna find out about themselves real quick. But hey, there hasn't been a time that I've sat in this chair and not been excited. So I guess I'm a little biased. The offense of Daniel Bryan is working well right now. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. Drops the knee with a vengeance. Oh, man. He came down hard with that. Destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. Well, I've never seen him do that before. starting to stagger a bit. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. It looks like his toughness is about to be tested. Well, it's hard to argue that, but I'd say this one could go either way. What a beautiful diving crossbody. There's not a person in this arena who thought that was it for him. No, this guy's too strong. This guy's too powerful. And Daniel Bryan is rolling. He's stopping his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Yeah, I wonder what the view's like from up there. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Hit right with a hand strike. And then the knees for Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. Say it, Cole. just cutting down his opponent. You can feel the impact of those kicks from the cheek seats. And then you're going here. Nice take down again. And he's got him to the edge lock. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. <laughs> he took too much time, and boy, did he pay the price. seen him do that before. Here we go for the win. I think they got him. 
What a kick out. Oh, he almost had him. What a battle. Oh, my goodness. How is this not over? Wow. What a display of heart and determination. Chad Gable showed us some clever offense here. Daniel Bryan stalling a bit here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I'd say he's been winning this match up until now, but the tides may very well be turning. There's a lot of truth in that statement, especially when referring to this guy, John. Chad Gable going for the cover. And there's the kick out. And just in time. Nice. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Chad Gable continues to punish his opponent. The Olympian Chad Gable. The Danielson special. Ow. Oh, you're not going to last long. Whoa. Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. Oh my, an explosive suplex. Ah! He can do it here. I think he's got it. Two, three. And Daniel Bryan has done it. Alright folks, your winner is Daniel Bryan. Here's your winner, Daniel Bryan. Alright folks, here we go. More singles action. Lita versus Emma. To see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making your way to the Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. Ah, uh, Lita coming to the ring. Uh, I don't know many divas on the roster more ready to break out than this one. of Emma fans in attendance for this one the WWE Universe on its yeah team. folks I have to explain this here that Emma is not your NXT champion they are like I said intertwined in my universe episodes with my regular gameplay so Emma is not your NXT champion
all about. And these ladies look ready to tear each other apart. This is what it is all about right here. But hey, enough of this nonsense. Let's watch Lita get into work. Emma with the offense. Take a moment to discuss Emma. You can certainly say that she is among the most aggressive women on the roster today. She's certainly a force, Michael. But you have to remember who she's in the ring there with. Neither of these girls are pushovers, that's for sure. And it's a good thing, because this isn't Tiddly Winks. It's the WWE, and you're not going to survive in the WWE unless you're filled with aggression. Chest been battered here. I'd imagine her ribs are also bruised. I'm not going to touch that line with a 10 foot pole. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Oh man, I hope she's not seriously injured. Moves like that are terrifying. It can end a career in an instant. Yeah, that looked really, really painful. Lita starting to breathe a little heavier now. This is not how she drew this one up. Yeah, but you and I both know she will do everything in her power to walk away with the win here tonight. Well, I can't argue that point, John, and neither one of these women has really taken control of this match. Emma's starting to sweat. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. You said it, Michael, and these Divas have given us an incredibly even match contest up to this point. Yeah, and these women are so evenly matched. I don't think either one has proven their dominance yet. She pulls a new trick from her bag with that one. Wow, she wants this win bad. It might be a while before she finds her footing now. Emma making her statement as we speak. We're looking at complete domination here. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet after that. And she's not taking any prisoners in this one. No, she's on a mission here. Looks to me like the gas tank is at about halfway. You want to make sure it doesn't get close enough to E, though. That's for sure. I hope you know CPR, Michael, because she just took my breath away. First time for everything, I guess. I believe that is the first time tonight We've seen that move. This could do it. Maybe it. No way. What a kick out. How did that happen? Oh, it doesn't get any closer to three than that. And that'll give you a negative attitude. And into the cover goes Lita. One. This one's far from over. Are oh, you right about that? A lot of power left in this superstar. That might have hurt her ego more than anything else. It might be a while before she finds her footing now. I've talked to 
several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Hey, look at the sneak one in. And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. Okay, now she's just showing off. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Oh, baby, here comes Lita. She appears to get some air here. I can mean, come to it. You're sitting next. Can she end it here? Maybe. One, two. That will have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Every time she has to get back to her feet, it takes more and more effort. Showing some craftiness and taking out the legs. Wow, I didn't know she had that move in her repertoire. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Oh, a cardinal mistake there. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Oh, no! There doesn't seem to be any slowing. They call this could do it. I think so. Two. She is such a professional. She knows exactly what she's doing in there. This match has taken so much out of her. Taking a risk here. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. Second time we're seeing this here. She's having a real hard time getting back to her feet. She's going to need to dig down deep if she wants to keep going now. The floor by the neck breaker. Lita looking to get to the top rope. This match has taken so much to the air. Yeah. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. seen this move tonight. She's going to need to dig down deep if she wants to keep going now. This match has taken so much out of her. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Rita reversing it. Incredible. All right, folks, your winner here, singles action, is Lita. Here is your winner, Lita. This one's over, folks. Lita picks up the win. Wow.
Yeah, All right, right, here we go, folks. Main oh, event of the night the for the World Weight Championship. Run. You see a fatal four-way. Kevin Ash, Bridge Bulldog, Sting, and Goldberg. His opponent, first, from every man nightmare, weighing in at 250 pounds, the man known as Sting. Alliances will be made and inevitably broken. We're just moments away from the start of this historic fatal four-way match. Historic. Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. For nearly all of 1995, WWE ran on diesel power, and we're going to get... Georgia, weighing in at 280 pounds, Goldberg. Goldberg, wow, what a way to go to the ring. Oh, you're right about that. Seeing that entrance would give any opponent pause. Of all the superstars on the roster, this guy is among the hardest working. That goes without saying. We are seconds away from the start of this title match. The combatants have entered the ring. The bell is rung, and we are underway. This is one of the most challenging matches for a superstar to compete in. We'll see tonight which of these four superstars will emerge the victor. There's no question that this one's going to be a struggle. An outright battle of wills. Should see some interesting pairings here. Oh, and another thing. One competitor is risking the title, and another is looking to claim it. Oh, this couldn't be better. And so taking a look at Kevin Nash, any thoughts come to mind? He comes into this fatal four-way with high expectations. What does he need to do to emerge victorious? What do you think's going through Sting's mind? How does she come out on top in this fatal four-way? I see somebody who's determined to walk away victorious. Unfortunately, I also see three others who are equally as driven to succeed. 
something's going to have to give. Man, he's got a lot of targets in there tonight. Watch out. He's starting to feel it here. It'll be interesting to see how he responds here in this four-way environment. Camel clutch. He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. Back in the ring again. This type of physicality and wonder if it looks this bad on the outside how much worse is it on the inside yeah there could be some serious internal damage here <laughs> staying with a great offensive show he's starting to show signs of fatigue in four-way matches such as this things could get very ugly for him very quickly i tell you we knew this was going to be a close affair but i don't think we expected it to be this time what a match Oh, it's been a great matchup to this point, and this could really go either way. The ring may not be big enough for what's about to unfold here. Are you kidding me? This entire arena may not be big enough. Kevin Nash is taken down. Man, you can tell Nash wasn't expecting that. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Wow, he's still down after that. It's a big time leg drop. He gets out of trouble there. Just making his presence felt that he's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match game. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. And the pain has to be shooting through his face. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. <laughs> nice. Let's do this inside the ring. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. And there he goes, crashing to the floor. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. This freeze may give him a cold. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Okay, once you get outside the ring, anything can happen. Yeah, and it usually does. Over the years, I've seen more careers come to an abrupt end outside of the ring than I can remember. This area is so dangerous. Spinbog is so powerful. What an example. A concerned look on the face of Sting. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. Well, these guys have been so tightly matched up until now, but this might be where that finally starts to change. I mean, I don't want to talk about the guy, but I'm starting to think he's scared to get in the ring and compete like a man. Oh, watch the ring. This ball down. Look at this goal. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. He, he could come as a punter right here. I think this is it. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. Yeah, already seen stars. What does British Bulldog need to do to win this game? He needs to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to take this fatal throwaway match. Oh, man, this guy's reliance on his finisher is a little concerning. He might want to mix things up a bit. You know, if Royal had won matches, this one would have been over a long time ago. But that's not just, well, it's not how it works here in the WWE. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have brought the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. 
bringing it back into the ring. He's really going out for the neck tonight. Yeah, that neck is going to be sore tomorrow. Well, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. And somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. This could do it. Maybe he is. making his presence known. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Oh, that can't feel good. Military press slam. Pure power. Oh, you don't have a fear of heights before. You do now. There's only one place to go. Down. I can't believe he can still... There's the pain. See the level of punishment that can only be described as severe. No kidding, this is getting ugly. Kevin Ash is looking for the decisive end. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. He's not quite out where his ear is by the time this one's over. Back inside now. All right, folks, your winner and your new WCW Heavyweight Champion, Sting. I hope you all enjoyed this WCW Custom Universe episode. Please leave a like, subscribe, and even comment if you like. This is Joe Smoke Gaming. It's been a pleasure to produce this video for y'all. Until next time, folks, take care.